Hey guys, it's Pirate Paradox here. Uh, back with another Minecraft video. Now today, things are a little bit different because I'm not doing Legacy Craft for this video. Today, a new um, snapshot just released a couple days ago. It is the it is the first snapshot of 1.16, which is the Nether update. Um, call this. What should I call this? Uh, 20 week. 6a uh, YouTube video world thing. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, today we're going. I'm gonna be looking at all this stuff, showing it on camera. I did not mean to do that. Um. Then again, if you're seeing this video, you've probably seen a more popular YouTuber do this. It's been all over my feed on YouTube. I just haven't bothered to watch any of them yet. Other than, like, one, which I got maybe five minutes in. I don't watch the whole thing. Um, okay. In lag, what is happening? Too high of a render distance. Okay. Anyway, yeah, there's a few of the blocks right there. There's crimson nilium, warped nilium, crimson planks, uh, crimson stem, warped stem, stripped crimson, and warped stem. Uh, why are you scrolling down so far? I just want to go a little bit different. Crimson slab, warped slab. Uh, let's see. Soul soil, um, as well as basalt. I didn't Warp stairs. Scroll down, please. Thank you. Uh, crimson stairs. And then block of netherite and ancient debris. Now netherite. Okay, first. I got, I got a little sidetrack there. Um, let's go to the nether. Hey, what do you know? We spawned inside one of the new biomes. The warped forest with a crap ton of endermen everywhere. Okay. Uh, where to start? Where to start? First you got, you got the, why, why every time? Where's, you have warped warp blocks. You've got the stem, you've got the shroom lights, this stuff, uh, n warped nilium. Keep forgetting that name. This this is starting to feel more like a MMORPG sort of thing. With all these weird names. Um yeah, this is the warp forest, a blue thing. This is man, that is actually looks really nice. Oh, there's like a floating island up here too. Oh man. This is what the nether's been needing. I'm gonna turn my render distance back up. This is probably gonna kill my computer. I'll go 14. It's actually not that bad, okay. Um, yeah, so there is now this this biome, uh, the dewarfed forest. This is a big one, too. Is it just. Did it just spawn like a circle of it? Oh, dude, there's like a cape. Oh, no, I thought that was gonna be cooler. There would be like a little alcove with a bunch of trees and stuff in it. Um, but anyway, here's another one of the biomes. It is the, see the sky even changes color between biomes. It is the Soul Sand Valley, a des dark and desolate biome with a ton of fossils from unknown creatures, as well as basalt pillar, ba bas basalt, basalt. I honestly don't know how you pronounce this. I'm going to clear all this stuff out of my inventory. 
Um, there's basalt. There's soul soil, not so, not to be confused with soul sand. Um, and if you light that on fire, you get the blue fire. I should not have gotten rid of my flint and steel, but you know, blue. And of course, if you, as you can see there, it'll flash. It it lights you on fire orange instead of blue, which is hopefully they'll change in a later snapshot. Um, maybe even that might not even end up happening till they release. But yeah, the original Nether biome is now known as the Nether Wastes. And it seems to be a bit harder to find now. Now, what I wish they had done with the Soul Sand Valley is... Okay, so if we go up to the ceiling of the Nether... Well, uh, shouldn't be too far up from here. Okay, so the top of the Nether is 128 blocks. However, you can go up, you can build up to 256 blocks, and that's where I think they missed out on. What I think they should have done instead is um, had move the normal Nether with the two new biomes, the two new forest biomes, move it up, and maybe have like I don't know, say 48 blocks of space where they have the net, the Soul Sand Valleys, and that's where you found like the Netherite and stuff. So you had like the Nether, and then you had the deeper Nether with the Netherite stuff. And, like the soul stuff. Um, I think that they should have done it like that. And anyway, that's everything out of the new soul sand biome. However, well, no, I guess it's not really it because if you get this, then you get a crafting table. Ah, I need the ingredients for torches as well. Where is this? Now you can make yourself torches or you can take soul soil and make soul fire torches which are really cool they don't emit the same amount of light which is fitting it's a blue torch uh it's basically a torch made of souls and apparently you can't place them on soul sand which doesn't make sense it's a soul of fire uh yeah, uh, I think these are really cool. And if you get, where, where is it? You get iron nuggets. That's not how you craft a lantern. You can make a soul lantern, which, in my opinion, is cooler than the normal lantern. And you can hang it like normal. You can't put it on the side of blocks. Um, yeah, that's a soul lantern. Now. Well, another feature they added, which is going to be very useful for this for finding the Crimson Forest, which is the other biome, they added a feature called Locate Biome. I forgot you need to actually put the thing in, because I got a little bit excited there, and then you can go, and you just teleport, and you're there. And what has happened? Okay. Um, yep, that's what happens. Anyway, here's a crimson forest. The sky. Ooh, it's like right next to the warped forest as well. But now, if you look, now here, this looks like a very hostile place. Now, doesn't it? Um, you've got the the nether warp block. You have crimson stems. You have weeping vines. Uh, crimson nilium, 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 whatever. Uh, these are the crimson roots. Uh, crimson fungi. all there's the shroom lights I already showed that um but yeah so there's all that and then you can also ha get uh what else uh, let me get another crafting table where's the blue here it is oh and this whole sand valley I, this is a good intersection of all three see so this this fog also changes colors so over here you got purple and then you kind of go into the soul sand and then you've got this light blue and then you have a dark red like a closer to the classic nether and then here you can you can also strip these logs and you can get this pinkish one over here or you can get this teal one here um and yeah 
So then you can you can also take them and craft them into many different things. Nope, that's not at all what I said to do. Uh, you can make them into slabs. Um, whatever you want, really. You can even make... If I'm not mistaken, you can make signs with them. Can you do that? Yeah, you can make signs with them. Uh, I'm not going to go every, over every recipe, but, you know, it's got it. There, it's got its quirks. Uh, let's see, is there anything I've missed here? Hmm. Now we got the sky changing. Oh, the, the hoglins. These were added. Now, the video I saw was talking about how they think it's a bug. This is not a bug, they just have not fully implemented the AI yet, so that's why they don't do anything when you hit them, they just kind of flop around, they don't attack anything. Also, piglins have not been added, which are going to be the new, basically, villagers of the nether. Uh, drops rotten flesh, which is obviously a placeholder, they're not going to drop rotten flesh. They're designed to be a better food source in the nether. Basalt can't do anything yet, basalt, whatever it's pronounced, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, but believe it or not, that's not all. There's more. Now this is, this is probably the biggest snapshot to ever come to Minecraft. Um, if we go in, there's actually a good way to do this. I saw it on Reddit yesterday. Get two blocks, doesn't matter what. You just get, I just grab the two. Let's see, uh, where's a good spot to do this? Um. Here it is. No, on, onto the land. Onto the land. Thank you. But anyway, learn this little trick on Reddit. You put that there, and you break this, and you put a slab. Now, if you want to do this in survival, you're gonna need a fire resistance potion. See what I'm doing. Crap. Maybe it's like this. I do not remember how they did this. Hold on. Okay, but anyway. You kind of see under the lava. I don't see. Or no, I do see a little bit of it. The new stuff. So, so wait, uh. So you see those new blocks there? I think <sighs> there's got to be a way, better way to do this. Um... Shoot! Now can I? I wish there. I wish you could see through lava. You know, like that'd be nice. But uh, I guess we can't do that. Um. Anyway, I'm going to just get it out of here. Ancient ancient debris. You know what? Might as well get a stack. So for this, you're probably going to need a furnace. Um, wherever they keep those now. Keep moving things. But anyway, if you smelt that, let me get a craft table. Uh, or you could, I guess if you're smarter about it, you could have a blast furnace instead. the scraps you now have four of them which is the perfect amount and then you get four gold ingots and then uh, this crafting recipe doesn't really matter you can move these however you want put that down there that there put them all over the place don't care you get one netherite ingot for all that trouble 
And then you take that and you attach it to any piece of diamond gear. So I might as well just grab the grab the set. Um, and then you can you put that and you get the netherite stuff. Um, where it's probably yeah here it is. Now when I first saw this stuff, I thought that I thought it was a joke. I did not think it was really going to be a thing. Um, and then I discovered, oh, it's a real thing, all right. Um, but yeah. Anyway, four four netherite scraps, four gold ingots. Combine those, you get the uh, the ingots, uh, the netherite ingots, and then you can make the armor and stuff. And this armor has changed the game in an unforeseen way. Because now we have something better than diamond. And that has not changed since diamonds were added all those years ago. Now also, the ultimate flex, the netherite health, and here's the best part about all of it. Well, probably not the best part, but one of them. burned all of it, but guess what? Just give it a few minutes. Give it a couple hours. It'll be here. There it is. It does not burn in lava, which is extremely useful. Uh, now all you need now all we need is fireproof boats. Mojang, please make this wood th these woods these forests. Please make the boats, because I, I, I think, can you make boats out of it? I do not know, actually. I'm going to test that. Hold on. Or maybe I'll just check this boat. No, you can't make boats. If you would, please, give us the ability to make boats using that wood, and they be lava-proof, I... That, that is all I ask. Um... But anyway, that's not all, because this stuff is, th this stuff's a beast. Um, where is the enchantment? Uh, more protection on these. Um, because with protection four, you pretty much can't take damage from those things. And might as well get Feather Falling as well. I just saw it over there. There it is. So I can show you that these things this, this, these items, they do, like, fall damage is no more with this. Um, let me see what my level says, hold on. Uh, 33, and then if we go up to 103, or as high as we can really go. I'm gonna just go for 103, because that's 70 blocks. Now if we do, uh, remember that? Nope. Did not mean to take a screen jump. Um, if I survive, which I did, uh, that is absolutely ridiculous. Um, wow, we got a lot waiting for us here. We can make plenty of that stuff. Anyway, I don't know. I actually want to test. Is this stuff fireproof? I do not think it is. Okay, don't throw your netherite scraps in there. Uh, you can throw ancient debris in there, I believe. Let me see. I 
believe that survives. Yeah. I just thought. Okay. Now, Mojang, if you would please just add a way to see in the nether and, like, the lava. Uh, more for creative mode purposes like this, being able to see if it still survived. I don't... There it is. Um, which it did. As expected. Uh, by the way, you're probably wondering how to get that. If you don't already know, um, it's as simple as going on a suicide mission underneath the ground. So let me see. Or, you know, just fall in lava. Like. Yes, because that's... Okay, uh, let me find a better spot for this. Uh, you might want to go with the nether wastes. It's like little patches like this. We are still in the biome. I forget how you... Hold on, wait. Who am I? Uh, my, okay, so Crimson Forest. Still crim This is still part of the Crimson Forest, technically. I always forget where the biome thing is on the F3 screen. Are you kidding me? More lava. Oh, that's because that leads out to that. Okay. So, further away from the lava. Is there anywhere that I can go where there is no lava? Probably back in the areas like this. Anyway, what Y level? So, it goes up to about 20. Or y level 20, and then you just mine like this for a little bit. And basically, you're just strip mining. Use your diamond ore finding skills, but uh, consider it, it's much rarer to find an ancient debris. Uh, I think, because you can only find it in veins of up to three or four, uh, but usually you only find it in one. Hold on, I'm gonna figure out a command so I can do this quicker. Hold on. Okay, figured it out after, after like 10 minutes. Um, pretty much, as you can see, there's two uh, out of this entire area, there are, no, three total, um, yeah, then, uh, we move this way, So, out of all of this, now I'm actually going to uh, replace lava there. God, can I do this right? Oh, God, no, no, no. What have I done? Uh, well, I'm gonna do better over here. But, just to show you how little of it can be found. Come on, let's all just train away this way, can't wait for easy. Um, let's see, there's t three pieces here, you can see one there. Two, three, four, five, six, and then is there any with lava? No, it does not look like it. I'm sure you could continue and probably find very little. So pretty much you just mine really low down. with 50. 
But anyway, I can't wait to get into this stuff on the Legacy Craft world. Uh, that's going to be interesting and very useful, but I don't want to do that until I get the Elytra, which is why, if you're watching this now, uh, a Legacy Craft video has not come, gone out today, and, or I haven't even started recording, but my plans are to get an Elytra in the next episode. You probably won't see it. Uh, today is the 7th. You probably won't see it until the 9th or the 10th. But, just letting you know, if you're watching this, the next episode of Legacy Craft, after episode 29, as of recording this, there's only tw uh, I've already scheduled up to episode 29, and in episode 30, I'll probably be trying to get the Elytra, but, um, stay tuned, hope to see you guys in the next video, goodbye. Oh, you know what, probably should do the, close this out a little bit more formally than that, um, Oh god, no, now I'm not even going to be able to get in this shit. There we go. I can never, like, in creative mode, the flying mechanics in creative mode, like, they, they kind of suck. I don't like them a whole lot. I mean, they're okay. They're, it's just the part where you slide around, and, like, you just, the slippery mechanics, I don't like that. It'd be great if I could hit it, yeah, you know? Take my anger out on me. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, the axe, the axe is going to be the new most overpowered weapon. Where is sharpness 5? Where is sharpness 5? Hold on a minute. I just want to test. I just want to make a small test real quick. So if I get a critical hit, will that... Oh, that does so much damage. Like I Hold on, I want to see how quickly I can take down a zombie pigment. So I know that they have 20 health. With a critical hit, can I one shot you? No, but I can come pretty close, it seems. But anyway close it out with a nice little shot. Well, maybe I should just get a thumbnail real quick. Let me find the bet. Let me find that intersection between the three items. Uh, here it is. Ooh, that looks like a good shot right there. Okay, let me get in the crimson mine because I want the red. Should I go with the blue? Yeah, I'll go with the blue since that's the new thing. And there's the thumbnail. Um, anyway, this is a very disorganized exit, but uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Wrong.